What kind of advice can you give to athletes who may one day be in your position? Um, boy, just go, just go do it. Um, it's a lot of procrastination in athletics. And the ones that um that, that that don't do as much are the ones that you see in the NFL right now. The ones that that, that when you make that plan for the summer, because everybody got a plan. It's all about executing and actually doing it. So the ones that actually execute that plan, oh yeah, I'm gonna wake up at five and do this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this and go within that schedule. It, it, it's absolutely easy. It's easy and, and it, it, it it's beneficial. It, it, it pays off. I've never really seen a person that worked as hard as they could and didn't get anything out of it. You might not go to the NFL, you might not even go to the biggest college, but you're going to get something out of it, even if you get a life lesson out of it. Um, uh, yeah, just, just different things like that. That was great, man. That was great. Let me ask you a question. Um, as you know, um, you, know you, you grew up in, in a huge decade to where a lot of athletes, like I said, once again, didn't complete the process. Yeah. Um, what is your take on why East Chicago athletes don't make it? Because we glorify Etwan so much because he's actually doing it. Yeah. You see what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm proud of him. I'm glad he's doing his thing. But it's, it's glorified more because of so many uh, other, other failures. Yeah, I mean, I believe a, a, a lot of people don't do it just uh, just due to the fact that a lot of some people it's not on their heart some people don't realize how hard it is after high school um, and, and how tough it could be a lot of players don't know how to be student athletes as well so they believe it's just a joke I mean each one each one is an all-american but he's an academic all-american as well so Different things like that, uh, just confidence build. I mean, you know, people don't have as much confidence in themselves. And uh, I and I, and I I can sit here firm, you know what I'm saying, by myself as a believer. Uh, I'm I, I I took the athlete part out of my life, and I'm a student now. And you know, I I believe I don't believe I just like didn't make it. I might have not made it in sports, but if anybody you know could maybe take that step and get to school. After after high school, you know what I'm saying, that would be good too. But with, 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 even with us, people don't even go to school after high school. So, I mean, I, I feel like you're still making it with just being a student. But a lot of people don't do that either. So, I mean, it, it, it's just an epidemic that the city has to get involved. More parents have to get involved. Everybody has to get involved, you know. But the one saying uh, it, it take, takes a village to raise one child, you know, it, it does. You know, you, you have to do different things and, and different people have to nurture you. You know, you, your parents isn't the only people that's going to be in your ear. You have to have different different things and a lot of people don't have that. A lot of people don't have that confidence in themselves. Gotcha, gotcha. That was, that was great, man. I was going to ask you, um, do you feel like the city of East Chicago as a whole, the, the neighborhoods, your parents, the mentors, the school system, the coaches, do we as a whole in general, from the day one of East Chicago to now, do we prepare our children to be successful? No, we don't. They, we, we try. They try and they do little things, and, but, you know, di different things that go on with this city and go on within parenting and parents not being there, the city environment, the, the, you know, growing up, wake, waking up in the morning and looking outside at, 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 at the abandoned buildings and different things, you know, different things like that is it, 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 nerve-wracking. And parenting, single mother parents and sometimes even single father parent, and, you know, it, it, different things that they don't have or a mother can't teach a son or a father can't teach a daughter or different things like that. You look into these other cities such as Maryville, such as Shearville, you know, di different places like that. Even certain, certain parts of Gary like Thea Bowman, you know. You look at places like that where they're nurtured and where, where everything's built up and you, you 
you have a system, a good core system, those people make it. Right now, without our city, without our city support and help, you know, they, they, we, we won't make it. And I do music. Even with my music, if my city don't help push me, I could only go so far. I could make it without my city. And you could make it. You could make it. And sports without your city. But with that push, it makes it that much easier, that much better. Hey man, that's, that's awesome, man. Awesome. Awesome. So, what is Mike Smith currently doing now? Um, I understand you at Manchester, but, but kind of give us a little more. Um, right now I'm I'm currently a um, business business management uh, major, um, with a side um in, uh, innovation, and uh, I'm currently a uh, recording artist on the uh, Black Stars record. Um, so I'm just doing the music things, testing the waters with the music things. I actually have a passion for music, the same passion I had for um, football when I was doing it. Um, actually started around the same time I started playing football. So. I'm doing that, um, just just getting into that field, just really just just living. All right. Hey, Mike, I want to tell you, man, been a great opportunity, man, for somebody your age. You know, you um, was raised well, have a lot of knowledge, man. And I appreciate you. The only, only thing I ask of you, man, is to to, to, to give your knowledge on to the next person yeah. um, and do that. So, um, man. Oh, uh, I I definitely. Uh, you know, installing uh, knowledge into um, the younger back. Make sure y'all be looking out for the younger back that 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 arguably arguably ah my fault. That could be the next best back in East Chicago's history. Marty, my my little man, Marty Martavius. Um, he's he's tremendous as a freshman. He did some things that. Um, a lot of freshmen um, couldn't do. A lot of seniors couldn't do. He actually tied my 97-yard record this year as a true freshman. So just wow. different things like that. So I'll be looking for him. Okay. Mike, man, I want to thank you for this opportunity. Uh, being on Athletes Lives Network. Been a privilege, man. I would love to bring you back on. I'm, I'm having a big segment about the best running backs in school history. I have a big round table. Okay. So it'll be you, Martell Franz, Royce Robinson, all you guys sit there. Okay. Sa Sam Daniels. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you can sit there, man. You guys can go over why you consider, you know, who you are. Okay. So, man, I want to thank you, man. Um, as far as your music, man, um, good luck to you. Oh, thanks. Thanks, sir. Thanks, sir. All right. Athletes Lives Network, once an athlete, always an athlete.